Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today, from Good Housekeeping's Book of Bread and Sandwiches of 1958, we're going to be making the cheesy tuna toasty. Mm. Okay, to canned tuna, we add horseradish, lemon juice, mayonnaise, and salt and pepper. And get that all mixed together. And then we put that onto white bread. Now we brush with melted butter on both sides. And now we're to broil it on both sides. And just before we take it out, we add a slice of processed American cheese. All right, let's give this cheesy tuna toasty a go. It's pretty much a low-grade tuna melt. Um, I do find it funny that they put cheesy as the first word in the title, even though it only has one slice of American processed American cheese. But the horseradish and the, the lemon juice and the salt and pepper and the mayo and the tuna taste fine. Tastes good. I wish it was different cheese, but what are you going to do? Um, I do think we can plus this up a little. I'm going to add a little granulated garlic, a little smoked paprika inside and outside. Alrighty, let's give this uh, cheesy tuna toasty blussed up with granulated garlic and smoked paprika. We'll go. Definitely better, right? Get a little bit of smokiness. The garlic is playing well with all the elements in there. Still getting a little bit of a tang from the lemon juice and the horseradish, although that did mellow a little bit in the oven. Yeah, I mean, it's fine. Well, I gotta say the cheesy tuna toasty, mm, not so much with the cheesy, but um, definitely with the toasty. You know, the original was, from a flavor perspective, was okay. It was pretty okay. I'm gonna give that a six. Um, plus up with the granulated garlic and the smoked paprika, probably a seven. Um, it's not great. Uh, I'm not gonna make this again ever because you might do this when you can make an actual tuna melt. Uh, I am gonna finish it though because it's not bad. It's not worth throwing out. All right, see you tomorrow. Oh.